dear children are you welcome to the session idiomatic expressions this is the video lesson for class children of ap unit 2 this is k lavanya school student english jpbhs school narayanred peta spsr nello district andhra pradesh let's get started unit 2 the dear departed 1 and 2 summary Vocabulary, particularly idiomatic expressions which are in the drama The Dear Departed 1 and 2, part 1 and part 2. Welcome. This is the post reading session. Let us know, let us revise once the characters in the drama. Abel Merriweather is the head of the family. His daughters are Amelia and Elizabeth. Miss Amelia Slatter and her husband Henry Slatter, their daughter Victoria Slatter, Miss Elizabeth Jordan and Ben Jordan, their son Jimmy. So Victoria Slatter and Jimmy are the grand son, daughter and son of the Abel Mary Weather. This is the family. And the author of the drama, William Stanley Houghton. Let us have a glance on summary. The Dear Departed is a drama written by Stanley Horton. He satirizes the degradation of moral values in the British middle class with remarkable dialogue in the drama. Abel Mary Weather, who is of 72, had been lost his wife and present living with one of his daughters, Miss Amelia, who gets the things her own way. Her husband, Mrs. Henry Slatter, who is very humble to his wife and their daughter Victoria who is of 10 and she is very fond of her grandfather. One day the couple thought that Abel was dead and they telegrammed it to his another daughter Miss Elizabeth who can drive a hard bargain for the things and her husband Mr. Ben Jordan who rather a little jolly man. They have not been there for ages since Elizabeth said that she never set foot in Amelia's house as they were quarreled each other. Meanwhile, Amelia and Henry pinched the things like bureau, clock and slippers and got rid of the shabby things. After arrival of Elizabeth couple, four of them started discussions in dividing the Abel's things rather to see the dead person. Victoria found that Abel was getting up and it took them by surprise. Abel gave way since he got to know the intention of his daughters. Meanwhile, he realized that on purpose only they were all in black. At length, they decided to do three things. Altering his will, paying his premium and getting married to John Sherrocks in St. Philip's Church. They remained at a loss. Okay, you all know, you have read the lesson, Dear Departed 1 and 2. This is the summary. The phrases which are in yellow or you can tell I think. What are those? Those are the phrases of idiomatic expressions. These ten phrases are there in your drama. These ten phrases are there. So let us know about these phrases, the meanings and the uses of the phrases. Let's know what is an idiom. An idiom is also called idiomatic expression. It is a word, phrase or expression that has a figurative meaning, conventionally understood by native speakers. It means idioms don't mean exactly what the words say, but some phrases become figurative idioms while retaining the literal meaning of the phrase. Idioms occur frequently in all languages. In English alone, there are an estimated 25,000 idiomatic expressions. Okay, let me tell you in our mother tongue, Telugu, idiom is called Jatiyam in our Telugu. For example, Sugrivagna. Manku Ramayana Telsuga Bati, a Sugriva Dichinagna, one or another part in Charu. So, Adi Alaga Mana Nanudiga Uchesi, then Nanud and Wonder Jatiyanga, Maripotin. Taradaka Nuvipu. Ante Achepe meaning Sugrivagnante Sugriud Ala Chesar Gabati Ochindi Adi Itralavati Koda Dani Anvaim Pajastaru Kanuvipu 
కళ్ళు బాగా ఓపెన్ చేసుకోవడం అని కాదు కదా కళ్ళు ఎక్కువ అంటే ఏంటి రియలైజ్ అవ్వడం తెలుసుకోవడం అలాగే ఇంగ్లీష్ లో కూడా ఫిగరేటివ్ మీనింగ్ ఉంటుంది ఆ వర్డ్స్ ఏ ఉన్నాయో వాటికే అర్థం అని చెప్తే అది రాంగ్ అయిపోతుంది సో సో చిల్డ్రన్ ఇది తెలుసుకొని ఉండండి ఓకే లెట్స్ మూవ్ ఆన్ హియర్ ఇస్ అ టేబుల్ కన్సిస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఇడే ఇడిమాటిక్ ఎక్స్ప్రెషన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ద యూనిట్ టూ దట్ ఇయర్ డిపార్టెడ్ వన్ అండ్ టూ ఫస్ట్ గెట్ వన్స్ ఓన్ వే ద మీనింగ్ టు గెట్ ఓ హవ్ వాట్ వన్ వాంట్స్ హీ సేస్ ఫ్రమ్ ద టెక్స్ట్ she is a vigorous vulgar woman prepared to do any amount of straight talks to get her own way this expression the author the dramatist has given when he explaining about amelia you know very well about him so then next one for ages for a long time they haven't been for ages the context is these are victoria's words elizabeth and ben were parages they didn't come to their house next set foot meaning enter okay textual context when you and elizabeth quarrel she said she would never set foot in your house again okay the context who said these words henry said these words to amelia who quarreled amelia and elizabeth who said never set foot in your house again elizabeth said that okay set foot means and uh, the meaning is different from from that of the literal words in the phrase okay let's move on to next one drive a hard bargain that means be uncompromising in making a deal especially business matters money matters and all the next things also ena vastulu panchukune tappudu gaani double panchukune tappudu business lo share cheskune tappudu uncompromising ga unte danni drive a hard bargain antaru context she'll see him after it and he'll drive a hard bargain over it this is the textual context who drives a hard bargain here elizabeth so amelia is telling these words to henry about elizabeth when they divide the things up okay next get rid of remove something that you don't want any longer something or somebody removing that one that is called get rid of remove ante odileyadam odilinchukodam alaga textual context i have always wanted to get rid of it these are amelia's words when she said these words you know very well about about chest of drawers and she wanted to bring down the bureau and she wanted to get rid of the chest of drawers very good nice let's move on to next one give way give way this this phrase has many meanings but textual in the context lose self control lose self control baadha padata collapse so many meanings are there for this phrase textual context now amelia you mustn't give way these are ben's words when ben came to amelia's amelia and henry's house and whenever amelia felt for her father for a while ben said these words one or the other time everyone has to die he wants to console amelia with these words next at length this means finally eventually 
here and one more meaning also there detailed explanation in a detailed manner textual context arising briskly at length in a business like tone okay uh, when explaining the thing whenever the these uh, clauses or sentence is in brackets in the drama that is the action not the words so rising briskly at length amelia in a business like tone okay next one on purpose with intention deliberately kavalani textual context is done it on purpose just to annoy us these are ben's words they thought that he didn't pay his premium insurance so the ben to uh, said these words okay on purpose next took by surprise to happen unexpectedly something happened unexpectedly you took us by surprise father these are amelia's words whenever abel mary weather returned they thought he was dead but they thought why she said uh, these words because whether he is alive or dead whether he is person or ghost so she told like this and she pinch to his to her father also next at a loss not knowing what to do yet tell us here this is the textual context whenever amelia said uh, i amelia i will marry whether ask them why are all of you in black so amelia covered like this someone ben's uh, brother died okay ben don't know what to do, what to tell so he was at a loss and then uh, like that he started so not knowing what to do okay let's know the meanings on second get one's own way to get to have what one wants evar korukonnadi all cheyal anukuntaru parages for a long time chala kaalam set food enter raavadam drive a hard bargain be uncompromising in making a deal edaina deal cheskune tappudu uncompromising ga untam edaina anta teliga oppukopadam get rid of remove something that you don't want any longer odilinchukodam give way lose self control ikkada self control ante baadha padtam heart ki iskan collapse ante virigi podam break avi kod untai at length finally eventually chivarki under that on purpose with intention deliberately wantedly took by surprise to happen unexpectedly at a loss not knowing what to do em cheyalta next let's move on let's watch a video clip to familiarize the phrase idiomatic expression get one's own way okay Okay, what do you understand by this video clip? The girl is screaming for the mobile. So, girl is screaming to get her own way. And the mother agreed to get her the mobile, the daughter's own way. Do you understand? Get her own way. Get one's own way. meaning get one wants or have okay let's move on some more usages for well, get one own way first one if i had got my way i would have planted many trees in our school second one the boy got his own way 
two years old often scream until they get their own way okay let's move on to the next film. next idiom for ages for a long time let's watch a video clip on this So have you watched what she said? She said it in Telugu. Sai, in the Rosalie in the Ninja see. Okay. That we can tell it like this. Wow, what a surprise. I haven't seen you for ages. Next. Let's watch. <laughs> What do you get it by this? He is asking his brother, her sister to come out. Let's see. He's telling, you are ages in the restroom. Come soon. I am in urgent. Okay. Do you get it? Let's move on to next slide. Here some more usages for ages. First one. I haven't seen my parents for ages since I am in my grandmother's house. Second one. We haven't been to school for ages due to COVID-19 pandemic. Third one. You are ages in the bathroom. What were you doing? Let's move on to next idiom. Set foot. Enter. Let's watch this video clip. Okay, what is she telling? I'll never set foot in the house again. Okay, if you want to note it down the examples. Let's move on and some more usages. Set foot. First one. Don't set foot in my house again because I hate you. Second one. I never set foot on the moon. Third one. He refuses to set foot in the tiger's zone in the zoo. Can you believe Krishna never set foot in Vrindavanam? We want all these four sentences noted down in your notebooks. Next idiom, drive a hard bargain. Let's watch this video clip. Uncompromising and making a deal. He is uncompromising in sharing the support in last. His sister wanted to share similarly. Okay, five five. But he wants more and he succeeded. So he drove a hard bargain and got more support in last. Okay. Let us see some more examples of driver hot bargain. 
drive a hard bargain. That's one. He drives a hard bargain, but we finally made a deal. Second one. Sai drives a hard bargain for more marks. Soumya drives a hard bargain in jewelry shops. It's more than I plan to pay, but you drive a hard bargain. Okay, noted down all these sentences. Next, let's watch. She did get it off. Remove something that you don't want any longer. So she got rid of that not working pen. Okay. Let's say some more usages of this. Got rid of or get rid of. First one. I can't wait to get rid of that ugly batch. Second one. There's a need to get rid of the corruption. He will have to get rid of his bad friendships. It's time we got rid of unhealthy habits. Are you trying to get rid of mosquitoes? Okay, let's move on to another idiom. Give way. Let's watch this video. Okay, give away means lose self-control. Okay, some more meanings are there. Yield, to break, collapse, fail. Here, the boy only kicked the vegetables. But he wanted to console his mother. Stilling, the boy is telling like this. Don't give away mother. I will help you. Okay. Let's see some more usages for give way. Give way. First one. She refused to give way to despair. Second one. His health gave way under the strain. My excitement gave way to fear when I drove a car first time. Don't stand on that rickety old chair. It's liable to give way at any moment. Okay, here I gave it different meanings also. So let us observe the variation among them. Let's move on to another idiomatic expression. At length, let's watch this video clip. Have you observed what she did? Did she got the sum? That means finally, eventually, for a long period of time. The girl got the solution for the sum at length. Got it? Let's see some more examples for at length. At length, my sister went into the house. 
Yeah, finally you mentioned it. Second one. Teachers always tell the students at length about good behavior. Here at length means in a great way. Third one. At length the mangoes ripen. Yeah, finally. Fourth one. I have read at length about the idiomatic expressions in a detailed manner. Okay, textual context is the meaning is eventually or finally. Let's move on to next idiom. Next one on purpose. Let's watch this video clip. On purpose means with intention deliberately. Do you understand this one? Is he doing deliberately or with intention? So on purpose. The boy is throwing the pillow on purpose just to disturb the girl. Okay. So like these situations you can make use of daily life, daily life situations and you can write your own sentences in the examinations. Okay children, let's move on to the usages of on purpose. On purpose. On purpose shut the doors against this way. It has been used first in Shakespeare's drama. Okay, next one. He stamped my foot on purpose. Third one. He is riding his bike in a great speed on purpose. She tripped me on purpose, causing me to spill my food tray. Okay. Next idiom. Took by surprise. Let's watch this one. Okay. What do you get it? Took by surprise? To happen unexpectedly. Someone took the boy by surprise. This is the usage here. Let's see some more usages. Took by surprise. COVID-19 took us completely by surprise. He took her by surprise with a wonderful gift. He took me by surprise, Raju. A politician took the people by surprise with his simplicity. Okay, last one at length, tenth one. Let's watch this video. What do you observe? Are they happy? Okay, let us see. Not knowing what to do. The boy, two boys were at a loss by seeing their mother. Okay, at a length. Let's see some more usages. At a loss. First one. I am at a loss to explain what happened. Second one. She was so embarrassed that she was at a loss for words. The government is at a loss to know how to tackle with coronavirus. Ramu was at a loss as he lost his all wealth in business. Let's move on. Match the following. These are the 10 idiomatic expressions which you have learned right now. These are the sentences and you have to fill the blanks with these idiomatic expressions and these are the options A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J and you have to put right answer in these brackets. Okay. So get her own way. He stamped my foot. He dashed for Sapodilla's two-year-old scream. He was dashed because he was caught. Like that you have to read all the sentences and choose right options for this. Hope 
you understood the topic well and you can make use of all these idiomatic expressions note it down all these idiomatic expressions i'll give you time for you for that take it down Okay, thank you, children. Once again, watch the video, and you can hope you can write well in the examination for these idiomatic expressions. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a nice time. Thank you, my children.